Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. Eight box jumbo. Pick your team number six, which if you're watching live, filled before five. So if pick your team five still available. That's most likely for manana. Um, I promise that if someone bought the last two teams, which were the Marlins and the Cleveland Indians, I'd randomize those two names and then give away the Cubs. So the Cubs are still still empty right there. And it was Anthony who bought the Marlins and Stephen K who bought Cleveland. So let's randomize those names. Name on top. After 10 gets the extra team. One. That's you, Joe. You're being negative, too. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10th and final time after 10, Anthony. There you go. Anthony, thanks for grabbing uh, what was the Marlins. And now you've got a bonus team right here in the Cubs, which might mean a bonus entry. or You may have blocked someone. All right, so let's box these up. And let's print and rip. It's kind of a long break, so kick back and relax, settle in. Now, after this break is done, we probably will have about... A, an hour or so left in the show, which is definitely uh, a chance for another break or two before we call it. All right, so there's the final printout right there. You, you don't think Fanatics is going to continue those big events? Man, th those events would probably be even better with the, with the money that Fanatics has. No, you think they're too cheap? I don't know. I think this has been pretty... I don't know why Why they would kill the uh, the Golden Goose. If it works, I think they're going to they're gonna keep it going. You're going to try to go, Stephen K? Nice. You should. I think uh, the boss man's been to one or two of those events and have said that they were a lot of fun. There's usually some catered food there. Um, there's usually some catered food there. I think a, like one like main guest, usually popular baseball player, and a couple of other surprise guests, meet and greets, a lot of swag that you can get, and all that sort of stuff. I, I, I respectfully disagree, Joe. I think the invite is one of the biggest draws for people buying Transcendent. Otherwise, it's no different from like a, a slightly supercharged dynasty or something like that. No, I think the invite is a big draw, at least from the feedback that we get. You think it's more of the cut autos? But it, it's not though. In the years that we've been doing this, Joe P, definitely the invite is a big draw. Also, by the way, paper doesn't ship except for these three players right there. I don't think they were in here. 
No, the inv the invites are one of the main draws. And there's Colton Kowser. Nice. Orioles, EA with the O's. This is one of the bigger names in the set here. CJ Abrams to 150, blue paper. I'm bummed, Joe, that Joe P, we didn't get a cut auto in the case that we did, so hopefully we'll be able to get another another case so we can find a cut auto. They're fewer and far between. We got... Brandon Bossier for Chris and the Nationals. Yeah, cut autos are not in every case. There's Dustin Signs to 99. Green Chrome for the Nats. Yeah, they made 97 or 95 cases. And I think there's only... 25, 27 cut autos, whatever the checklist has it as. So I guess, I guess that probably makes the cut autos just that much more valuable. Right, yeah, we got the patch auto, which was fine. It, was, it looked really cool as Andrew McCutcheon, but sort of had my heart set on a... Uh, on a cut auto. There's Ronnie Maurizio and Mason Miller, refractor autograph, 380 out of 499 for EA and the A's. Steelers with a touchdown. It's going to. I think that's going to seal the game. Henry Davis papers, of course, will go to Mark. Mark the set. We got Alex. Did we get a fourth autograph? Yeah. It's usually only three autographs. There's Alex uh, ben Benellis for the Brewers. Robert with that one.
Peter, I'm not saying I'm not saying that. That's just uh, industry expert Joe P. Who's, say, who's saying the sky is falling, and that fanatics will be uh, will be bad for the hobby. All right, so we got a nice bonus auto out of one of these boxes. Next box. weird maybe that's why we got that extra auto <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there's only 11 packs in this box hmm. happens And I will do a autograph recap at the end of this as well, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're having to watch the replay of this and you're like, oh, I don't feel like <laughs> watching an hour and a half video, I wouldn't either. You can fast forward to the end and there should be an autograph recap uh, maybe just after, just after I do the break credit randomizer. Nick Gonzalez to 149. And Jackson Job, 76 out of 99, green chrome autograph. That's for Karen and Detroit. We got Kai Bush, 84 out of 150 blue chrome autograph for the Halos. 
Jeremy Shortell with that one. J.J. Blade, Purple Chrome to 250, and an autograph for the Reds, Ruben Ibarra. That's Mark Bissett and the Cincinnati Redlegs. It's our third auto of the box. Got the Manning cast on the background. Like Pittsburgh beating the Cleveland Browns 26 to 14. What might be Big Ben's last home game. We got a green sparkle, Alexander Mojica, 42 out of 99. And this Henry Davis paper, of course, both of those will go to Mark and the Pirates. They made it, Peyton and Eli Manning made it sound like, uh, made it sound like they were gonna be doing some Manning cast for the playoffs be pretty fun. Ben, Big Ben doing a little Cal Rubicon Jr. type lap around the stadium, some high fives with the first row. That's awesome. Deonta Williams, or Donta Williams, 250, 209 out of 250. Kevin Fusco, what's going on? Saying congrats to Chris Butler on winning the Fantasy Football League. There you go. Shout out to Chris Butler, who actually got a hit for the Nationals, too. So it's all uh, Chris is just, just a champion today. Got a hit in the break, won the Fantasy Football. I won my Fantasy Football League, or one of the two that I have. Almost won both. Chris Butler, congrats, man. Money League, I hope. Put, put some put some dollars into your pocket. Do I believe that Antonio Brown should get another shot? He didn't do that much wrong. No, I think the individual action wasn't wrong, but I think I think the culmination of actions that 
I think the culmination of actions that have led up to that and the fact that he quit on his team in the middle of the game. I mean, I think he's done. Yeah, I agree with all of it. I think, I think Antonio Brown has had enough shots, to be honest with you. He got a shot, you know, he got a shot after Pittsburgh. He got a shot after his stint with the Oakland Raiders. He got a shot in New England. He got a shot in t- how much? How many shots do you want to give this guy? <laughs> no, I think he's done. I mean, he probably got one or two many shots than he should have deserved, to be honest with you. But, but yeah, I mean, this has got to be the last draw. I mean, who's gonna take a sh- who's gonna take a shot at a, at a player that might just abandon you in the middle of a game? I mean, it's one thing if you storm out of the locker room at the end of a game or something like that. I don't know. I mean, but but for him to yeah, for for him to just quit on his team like that. It's Gavin Williams, four out of fifty for Cleveland. Stephen K on the board with Gold Auto. I think. I mean, that's the. I mean, I'm not obviously not a doctor, and I don't want to speculate on. But we will <laughs> on his medical condition. But that's what a lot of the talking heads seem to be saying that maybe there's, maybe maybe there's some uh, some some CTE issues that are that, that that's the reason for this behavior. I mean, he was pretty. I mean, he was pretty low key in the early years with Pittsburgh. But I mean, there is a correlation between his concussion issues and. Sort of his more erratic behavior. I don't know. Maybe that was already latent inside him. But, you know. No, definitely not a doctor, Pete. Yeah, so, I mean, it's obviously all speculation. But he is a great player to watch. But, but I mean, what what team is realistically going to give him a shot? After all the shots he's been he's been given already, and how disruptive he's been to each of the teams that he's he's been on the last two or three years, I think the reality of it is that he is that he's done, which is unfortunate because because on his day he is a joy to watch. There's Emmanuel Rodriguez for the Twins to 150. There's Tanner Allen, purple paper to 250. Yeah, I mean, even taking all of the the, the, the medical speculation aside, even just t- taking all of that away, you know, just his behavior is not professional. Has not been professional, and I don't know how many teams are going to really give him a shot. Not not contending teams. I don't know if any contending team would give him a shot. There's Ryan Cusick, purple chrome to 250, and Chase Petty is your autograph. Minnesota Twins, John with the Twins. Late first round pick there. There's Wilman Diaz to 499 for the Dodgers. That'll be for Chris Butler. Transitioning from that to the next quarterback. 
Oliver, Oliver's a Steelers fan. What a, where do the Steelers go from here? I mean, I know they still have a shot at the playoffs, but it's pretty clear that that Big Ben's not going to be around next season. There's Dominic Hamill for the Mets. That's going to go to Ryan Lynn. What's, ne what's next for the Steelers? We got Errol Vera, Aqua to 199. I wonder what you do if you're the Steelers. There's been some speculation, or I guess maybe just people trying to connect dots, not really even any real speculation. Does Mike Tomlin move on? I can't really see him leaving Pittsburgh. What kind of... Uh, do you do some kind of rebuild? Maybe. The redemption is going to be Jordan Lawler, Arizona Diamondbacks. That's going to be for Mark Bissett and the Snakes. And that's another four autograph box right here. Pretty sure. These are only supposed to be three. Yeah, it looks like a piece of the card got got crimped and cut there. Next box. Next box. Let's keep going. And we got a Dodger. We got Ben Kasparius. 31 out of 250 Purple Chrome Auto for Chris Butler. And my Dodgers. Little Dodger Joe Mojo coming at you. Not too familiar with this dude. He's a fifth rounder. Number 141 prospect for Baseball America. Second team All Big East. Delivered second highest single season strikeout total. And uh, in Yukon, 
keeps hit hitters guessing with an effective three pitch blend. Dots low to mid 90s fastball at the edges of the plate. Exceptional changeup with depth. Hard low 80s slider. Hmm. All right. Someone to look out for. Carson Williams to 199 for the Rays. It's going to be for Anthony. JJ Blade to 499. And we've got that insert flipped around. What's that all about? No, oh, it means it's number 37 out of 50. Genesis insert. Gavin Williams. And that'll be for the tribe. That's going to be for Stephen K and the Cleveland Guardians. There's Ryan Spikes, Tampa Bay, Anthony with. The Rays, third round pick. All these Marcelo Myers will go to Matthew Shira and the uh, Boston Red Sox. Let's see if we can find some ink for him. Ooh, nice Henry Davis. Green autograph, 32 out of 99. That is awesome. That goes to Mark Bissett. 32 out of 99. Your number one overall pick. Nice. Undrafted out of high school. Has two sisters interested in coaching. Enjoys traveling. Cites The Pursuit of Happiness as his favorite movie. Rocket Arm Backstop. With excellent footwork and throwing accuracy. Sharp-eyed hitter who recognizes spin and control zone. Produces plus pull side power for position. Number one, number four prospect in the 2021 MLB draft. That's pretty awesome. Plays defense and can hit. So that was a nice hit. Right, next little stack right here. Denzel Clark to 99. A little color match there for EA and the A's. And a Colton Cowser purple paper, 48 out of 250. 
for EA and the O's. Fifth overall pick. Purple Chrome to 250, 17 out of 250. Elmer Rodriguez Cruz for Boston. Matthew. All right, we are halfway through this full case break. We've got about another 35, 40 minutes to go. Good luck, everyone. We just finished watching the Cleveland-Pittsburgh game. And then Big Ben's last home game, the Steelers defeated the Browns. I think the Browns were already eliminated from playoff contention going into it, but what's the what's the post mortem on the Cleveland Browns? I think. Uh, I feel like uh, maybe you know everyone's dealing with injuries, but I feel like I think they mentioned this in the broadcast too that Baker Mayfield's torn labrum. I think it's his non-throwing arm, but that that throws off the mechanics and everything. Just has not done any, done him any favors this year. I just I feel like last couple of years on paper it just seems like that's a that's a really solid team, but. I don't know, definitely maybe maybe next year, maybe another round of another draft, another round of free agency. You know, well and maybe some luck with some health. We'll get them into a good spot. Bengals though have definitely been surprising. Bengals defense I think has improved significantly. That's a big help. And then of course that opens the door for Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase to go to go nuts, which they which they have. That old college chemistry connection works out, huh? Seems like it. All right, next box. And another Henry Davis autograph. Nice, three forty-five out of four ninety-nine refractor autograph. Going to Mark Bissett and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Your number one overall pick. I'll go back to a little sports center. Jay Allen, Bowman first, green, paper, 65 out of 99. Jay Allen going to the Reds. That'll be for Mark. And we've got a uh, Frank Mozicato. 110 out of 250, purple chrome for 
the Royals. That's going to go to Karen. And obviously all of those numbered cards will be sleeved, top loaded before they're sorted and shipped out to you. These uh, slightly thicker Invicta cards, or have you noticed, are probably are one per box. Some of them I have seen numbered, so let's keep an eye out for that. You got Hunter Goodman, 315 out of 499 for the Rocks. It's going to be for Derek. We got Leo Piguero. It's flipped around. That might might be a variation. We got Jake Fox, a fox in the box, 11 out of 50 gold, chrome for Cleveland, Stephen K. The autograph is for Cincinnati, Matthew Nelson. It's for Mark and the Red Legs. Thirty-fifth overall. Looks like a maybe a compensatory pick or something like that. We got Marco Luciano, fifty-six out of two fifty purple paper from my rivals, the Giants, Big Boys 007 for this Giants. The redemption is. It's Andrew Painter. Mark Bissett with the Phillies. Three boxes to go. Going back to football really quick, I feel like there's a number of teams that could be looking for quarterbacks in the offseason. I know Pittsburgh season's still alive, but they could be looking for a quarterback. 
Browns. I mean, they're worse. I think they're gonna they're gonna hang on to to Baker Mayfield, but there has been a little sports talk radio speculation about if the Browns would make a change. Broncos definitely looking for a quarterback. Now Texans looking for a quarterback. Or do you think they're gonna keep rolling with Davis Mills, who's been looking good the last few weeks? That's a possibility. Packers. If Aaron Rodgers leaves. They'll be looking for another quarter. I mean, I guess I'll run with, go with Jordan Love, but Aaron Rodgers could end up on on a team. Aaron Rodgers on the Steelers could be really interesting. Felt like a thicker pack. No, are the Saints? Saints have to look for a quarterback, or are the Vikings going to look for another quarterback? What about the Falcons? Matt Ryan is he? Is he done? Washington football team probably needs a quarterback. If Russell Wilson leaves, Seattle will be looking for a quarterback. Carolina is looking for a quarterback. So that could, that could be that could make the off season for the teams that are most of these teams are eliminated from the playoffs. That'll make the off season for these teams really interesting. All right, good luck. I like these parallels. Mason Black, that's an Aqua Lava Refractor, 13 out of 199. That's David, Big Boys 007 with the Giants. Luis Rodriguez could be a variation. It's flipped around. That'll go to the go to Chris and the Dodgers. Another lava or Elvis Martinez, fifty-two out of one ninety-nine. It's a sharp-looking parallel for John in Toronto. Brady House to 199. Chris and the Nationals. Shaylin Polanco. I think he was a big prospect name for the Pirates. Joined them last season. There's Pedro Pineda, Invicta to 25, 10 out of 25. It's a cool looking insert for EA and the A's.
so okay. I wish I could bottle it and, and have it forever. Um, but I will in here and in, and in my mind. Eric Pena, purple paper to 250 for KC. It's going to go to Karen. We got Shane Panzini, 182 out of 499. As for Karen in Kansas City, fourth round pick. There's Steven Hajar, 60 out of 99 for Minnesota, and Calvin Ziegler for Ryan and the Mets. Third autograph here in this box. Do I own the shop? No. I, I am the first hire here. From about seven, seven, eight, is it eight years now? Eight years ago? Long time ago. Second to last box. Yeah, I was the first hire here. Yeah, I do okay. <laughs> I've I've actually known the family uh, that runs that owns this place. I've known them for you know for many years before I actually started working for them. So, so yeah, it's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty strong uh, sort of family environment that we have here. It's Cade Povich. John with the twins. Hey, this 
to the quarterback. These two dudes are the future of the franchise. But they're not only the future of the franchise, Scott, they're the right now of the franchise. And that's what the Pittsburgh Steelers have to be extremely excited about. You pivoted really beautifully from, from Moses to a dead cockroach. I mean, that's to me, like, that when Emmys get handed out, like, to me, that's got to be considered, man. I mean, and you start your day early and you still got this type of energy and, and high steam late, man. My brain power is never, it never diminishes. I respect that. It's just, hey, hey, what you got to do is get your good workout in the midday, visit the ESPN cafeteria, and let the kids work. CJ Abrams, green speckle to 99. Padres, that's going to go to John K. We got a Genesis Carson Williams, fourteen out of two fifty. Tampa Bay insert, numbered insert going to Anthony. There's Cade Povich, ninety seven out of one fifty. Who do you speak to about regarding investing in the business? We're not accepting investors at the moment. Couple twins going to John. Santiago, opening everything from your website tonight. Sure, except for the except for the ones that say we can't break it until Wednesday, which is draft super jumbo and draft super jumbo and Bowman's best. Otherwise, yes, everything else we can break tonight. I think by the time this break is done, we should have another hour or so left in the show. So whatever we can fill up then. We've got Benny Montgomery, purple paper to 250. And there's another Ben Casparias. Casparias. That's for my daughters, Chris Butler, with the boys in blue. Got a gold paper, 35 out of 50, Brooks Goswin for Drew from the White Sox. Fourth round pick. All right, final box coming up. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of cards in these packs, Santiago. Why are there so many cards? It's just it's the way this product was designed. Yeah, Bowman, Bowman Draft, Bowman Products tend to have a lot of uh, a lot of cards. This 
12 packs per box, 32 cards per pack. These are lower grade cards? I wouldn't quite say that. This is this is some excellent prospect hunting here. And these are still, still kind of pricey per box too. So this is, a, this is an excellent prospecting product. A lot of future value in these cards. If any of these guys in the next however many years, you know, turns out to be a superstar. Possible pull value for best single cards? A million dollars, Santiago. Maybe two million dollars. All we gotta do is find the next Mike Trout out of here. These are all new draftees, so find the next Mike Trout. That card grades out at a at a ten. You know, then could be millions. Final box. Good luck. CJ Abrams to 199. Uh, Purple Chrome to 250, Russell Smith. Brewers, Robert. Got a Jason Dominguez paper to four ninety nine, three twelve out of four ninety nine for the Yankees. Justin, Justin Martin with that. There's some orange paper coming up. Yeah, Shaylin Polanco, orange paper. That's 13 out of 25. One of the big up-and-coming prospects for the Pirates. Mark with the Buckos. Jackson Job is your Invicta card. Got a Yankees auto, Brendan Beck. So along with that Jason Mingus paper, Justin Martin will also get this Brendan Beck auto. Second round.
Got an Adley Rushman. Adley Rushman Super Fractor. One of one. For EA Sports, it's in the game. Nice. A one of one of the former number one overall draft pick. That's pretty nice. There you go, Eric. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Not autoed, but still very nice. It should be should be getting some regular playing time this season. And we got a Blaze Jordan behind him. 42 out of 99 for Boston. Matthew. One of the Red Sox up and coming prospects. So nice finish in this final box. Looking for more low numbered cards. And a, and a third and final autograph. Yeah, I'm not sure how much that would go for. It's not his Bowman first, obviously. That was a number of years ago, but... It is a one of one of a number one overall pick, and I don't know. It's, that'd be something that I would, you know, I don't know how EA is going to play it, but that'd be something I would kind of hold on to, you know, because right now the value, it's sort of the off season. Off season, the value values of baseball cards not super strong in the off season. People's minds really aren't on baseball right now. There's Corey Morissette for Anthony and the Marlins. Second round pick. My guess is that you would just kind of hold on to that until the next season starts. There's Yoelki Cespedes to 199 because if he starts off the season strong, if he if he's looking like a if he's looking like a number one overall pick, he hits the ball well. Especially early on in the season, that could really set a nice market for, for him. Maybe he's in that rookie of the year conversation. Yeah, we sure do. You should visit our shop in uh, should visit our shop in Hermosa Beach. And there you go. That's the break, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give away a little money and then let's do a recap. All right, so let's go back to the product page here. If you go back to the product page, it'll say that if you bought at least two teams, that gets you one entry, four teams, two entries, so on and so forth. For a chance at some break credit, top five, get 100 bucks each. So let's go back to the list. Let's make that a little bit larger, and let's alphabetize by your first names. So Anthony, you ended up with four teams, so that's two entries. Chris with two teams, that's an entry. EA with two teams, that's an entry. John A with two teams, that's an entry. Justin, two teams, one entry. Karen with two teams, one entry. Mark with four teams, two entries. And Ryan Lynn with two teams and an entry. So let's just kind of spot check this again. Got Anthony, Chris. EA, John A, Justin, Karen, Mark. Oh, Martin. I forgot you, Martin. See, this is why I do this check here. So Martin bought two teams. That's an entry. And Ryan with two teams. That's an entry. Thank you, Chad. Yeah, I almost forgot. 
Sorry, Mart, I almost forgot you. It's not good. All right, there we go. So 11 names on the, or 11 spots on the list. Top five gets $100 of break credit each. It's pretty nice. After three and a one, four times. Top five after four. One, good luck. Two, three, and four. After four times, we got Mark, Karen, Chris, Martin, and Ryan. There you go. Top five, $100 of break credit each. Check your emails for those uh, break credit codes. It, it should arrive to you as a gift card code. They don't expire. Check your spam folder if you don't see them. And here's a quick recap. Pretty nice break. A lot of nice color. A couple of redemptions. Some Henry Davises. Those are pretty nice. He's pretty good. Number one overall pick. Got some good color there. And we got our first Super Fractor. Non-auto, but a nice player in Adley Rushman. I went to EA and the Orioles. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.